Hello everyone and welcome. I have a wonderful Valentine's Day gift idea for you. Now this gift idea can also be used as a decoration in your home for Valentine's Day. I know you're absolutely going to love it so let's go ahead and get started and let me show you how to make this adorable Valentine's Day decorating and gift idea. To get started on today's project, you'll need one of the 3D foam hearts that you can pick up in the Valentine's Day section at Dollar Tree. You'll also need to pick up some uh, tissue paper. They had about three or four different kinds in my store to choose from. I chose this one with a white background and it says Happy Valentine's Day in red. That's the one that I'm going to be using. Go ahead and open up your tissue paper. You're also going to need some Mod Podge and a brush. So I pulled out just one sheet. Go ahead and save the rest. We'll be using some of this later. So fold your piece in half and then you're going to want to cut it in half. And we're going to use one piece per side on our heart here. I have a piece of the tissue paper cut and it is wide enough to come down and around the sides halfway and to come down around the top and the bottom halfway. Right here where the dimple is, I did trim up to where the dimple is. That's going to help me to wrap around those curves. Now you want to get a nice even coat of the Mod Podge all over the base here. And you want to pull it just to where you want the paper to attach. So I only want the paper to come down halfway around the sides. So that's as far as I'm going to bring down the Mod Podge. Now you can use any kind of tissue paper you want. If you don't want to use something that has a pattern on it, that's fine. You don't have to. You could even cut little heart shapes out of the tissue paper and just kind of apply them all over and layer them on top of each other. That would be really cute as well. So use what you have on hand and what is available to you. I'm going to take my tissue paper here and I'm going to fold it over. So I'm only working with the bottom portion. I'm going to start down here at the bottom. My best to kind of lay it down. Just be careful, it is tissue paper, it can tear. So just do your best to get it down with minimal wrinkles. If you're enjoying today's content, make sure to subscribe. And when the notification bell pops up, if you hit that too, YouTube will let you know every time I upload new content. And I do upload new content to my channel every week. Now you want to let this sit and dry. This tissue paper is very thin. If you tried to put the top coat on right now, you would have all kinds of issues of tearing the tissue paper. So you just want to make sure everything has good contact and you want to let this dry completely before you go back and put another coat on top. So when this is dry, I'll be back and we'll do just that. Now I pulled this out of my stash and I did pick it up at Dollar Tree, but it was a couple years ago. And you're looking for some kind of vessel for the bottom and it needs to be an appropriate size for your heart. Now this turned out to be a really good size. So it's about four inches by four inches. Let's see how deep are you? By about five. So four high, four wide, five deep. Uh, Dollar Tree has really cute Valentine's Day pails. They also have some squares like this that are plastic they're clear they have different types of hearts and designs any of those will work 
I like this, but I don't like this part, so we're going to remove it. You're also going to want to take out any ribbon. Um, if you're using a pail, you're going to want to take the handle off. Now I'm not too worried about this raw edge here. I will clean it up a little bit more, maybe sand it down. But I'm going to put some tissue paper and we're going to be filling the bottom. So by the time that's done, you're not going to notice that little bit of a raw edge. But I really thought that was adorable and it's going to be perfect for the project. Now I got that nice and sanded down. It looks nice and clean. You're also going to need a couple dowel rods. Now these are the small dowel rods that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. They're 12 inches and you get 10 pieces in a package. You're only going to need two. And then you're also going to need four of the table scatter. Now the table scatter comes in red or pink. You can use whichever color you like. Or you can use the little wood blocks for this. Um, if you do the wood blocks, you only need two. So we need to add our little wood dowels here. Now because my box flares out, I can't get them to stand straight up. They widen out like that and I need them more kind of up and down. So to do that, we're going to take one of the little hearts and we're going to glue one right underneath like that. So the top of the heart is flush with the top of the container. That'll allow me to get that dowel rod to sit the way I need it to. And then we're going to add one more on top there as a decorative piece. Now I'm going to place the hearts right here where the ribbon was. I'm just going to kind of add some hot glue around where the hole is and place my first heart. Now when I go to put in my dowel rod, it's going to stand much more straight, which is what I need it to do. And then to get these in, let's add some glue on the heart. Add a little bit more glue to make sure that's nice and sturdy. I'm also going to add a little bit here at the bottom. I'm going to attach the other dowel rod the same way. I have both of my dowel rods glued in. I've added the additional heart on this side and now I'm going to add it on this side and I just want it up on the top of the second one. It's just going to help add support and a little bit of a decoration. Then I just fill in a little bit more hot glue. You just want to do that below the rim. You don't want to see any mess above the rim there. This inside will be covered once we put a little tissue paper in there, so don't worry about that either. You want to set this aside and let it fully set up. Now my heart is dry enough that I can handle it without tearing the paper. So now what I'm doing is going around and removing any of that excess paper. And I'm just using my utility knife. You just want to hold it down so that you don't tear it. And I just slightly drag it across where the seam was. And then you can go back and just kind of pull it and it'll come right off. You don't need to press hard. You just want to re remove any excess. Now, if the ends right here are not fully glued down, that's okay. We are going to go back over it and they will get fully glued down at that point. Looks cute already. Okay, now I'm going to go over it with some more Mod Podge and I'm going to start here on the side. 
and I'm going to pat more than I'm going to brush and I want to pull it away so that it seals down. Now as you do the inside you want to do more of a patting than a stroke because if you pull and the glue is tacky it can rip Once you have a good coat of Mod Podge on, you want to let this completely dry. Then you want to flip it over and do the same process on the opposite side. My heart is dried and I'm very happy with the end result. You can very clearly read Happy Valentine's Day. And even though there are a few little wrinkles in there, it is not noticeable. It looks so cute. And I think it looks great from both sides, exactly what I was going for. And even uh, around the edge where the seams are, are not bad. So I'm very pleased with that. So this is going to go on top to make a little hot air balloon gift. But before I attach this, I'm going to show you how to decorate and fill the bottom so it's easier for you to see. Okay, I have one sheet of the red tissue paper and I folded it in half and folded it in half again and then cut it into four pieces. This size is a little bit better for our box. So I'm just going to put each of the papers in here and then push it down enough that just a little bit is coming up over the top. So I have a little bit coming out the top and then you can fill it with whatever you would like so I'm gonna do a little bit of some Hershey kisses I found this really cute little cookie and then I'm gonna top it off with a bear and add this really nice pretzel milk chocolate rods now they had these last year these are very good. I like them. And of course, who doesn't love Hershey's Kisses? So I'm going to start and put these in the bottom. Add in my little milk chocolate pretzel rods there in the back. My little teddy bear and a nice big heart shaped cookie. Isn't that adorable? And then you can attach your top and I just want to pull those in just a little bit. And then they can go right into the foam. I don't want to break those, so I'm going to make the holes with this one. Now to make sure that's secure, I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue right where they go in. And there you go. An adorable hot air balloon gift or home decor. Now if you were going to use this as home decor, instead of filling it with all of these different items, just fill it up with a bunch of Hershey Kisses. That way they can grab one when they walk by. But that's absolutely adorable. 
What a fun project, and anyone would love to get this as a gift. You can fill it up with whatever they desire, whether it's sweet treats, makeup, nail care, lots of different items you can choose from. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give me a big thumbs up and show some love in the comments. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Have a great day. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video.